Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. A lot of development projects put on the back burner in Tustin because of our sour economy are moving uh, to the front burner into the fire, so to speak. The mayor of Tustin is here now, Al Murray, to talk about that and other things. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things, the Tustin legacy, that whole housing redevelopment uh, or development, because mm -hmm. it's not even redevelopment, over at the old base, the air base is starting to grow up. Starting to pick up. That was uh, 1,600 acres of very valuable property from the old Tustin Air Base and we're in the midst of doing some really exciting things. We've got uh, some development with residential housing, we've got some commercial things on the front burner and we've got some uh, what I would call small commercial stuff going on as well as Tustin Ranch Road. What's going on in terms of the residential, for starters? In terms of residential, we have standard Pacific homes that are looking at putting in about 350 homes and then some apartment homes, both affordable and regular apartment homes, probably totaling about 600 apartments. Mm -hmm. New homes are starting to sell, so I guess it's not as big of a gamble for the developers. And then uh, That's the correct. commercial developments? Yes, in terms of the commercial development, we're looking at some possible another little shopping center to help feed some of those new homes in there. and then also some potential with some big electronic firms to come in and set up some campus atmospheres. So we're looking at some pretty exciting things right now. Yeah, there's a, even a couple of hotels are coming in. That's correct. That's correct. Right on Edinger. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first time in our city, we're getting some really upscale, uh, nice hotels that'll be able to feed our business community. And one of those is a Fairmont and the other one's a Marriott. And they're both being put in by R.D. Olson Development. Now, even if you don't live in Tustin or right around there, the expansion of Tustin Ranch Road is going to make a difference for a lot of people. Yes, that's going to be a great gateway from northern Tustin into Irvine, and it's also going to open up some added transportation into the Tustin Legacy Shopping Center. So it's going to be a great addition. One of the things you've worked on recently, reaching out to students in your community to let them know what life might be like working for the government or working in government relations as a politician maybe too? <laughs> yes, in terms of just really um, enhancing our partnerships with the school and the schools and since I have young kids in school, I think it's important for them to get an inside look at what goes on at City Hall. So what I've decided to do is have a student government day where we have two students from each of our high schools, Beckman, um, uh, Tustin High and Foothill and come spend a day with our executive team and uh, just kind of shadow them and then come back to our council, give a report and also go to their schools and give a report. Okay. Now, uh, one thing I want to bring up before you go is the chili cook-off because it is a big deal in Tustin. Yes, it is. It is the single largest one-day chili event in the world. We have 30 to 40,000 people come out. Everybody has a great time. It's for nonprofits and it's a real family atmosphere. So we're really looking forward to it and we're hoping we have an, another tremendous crowd out there. Uh, coming up also is the, uh, the State of the City address. Now we can't all make it there, but what are you going to tell people as far as how the city's doing? I'm going to just kind of give them some video uh, footage in terms of some of the exciting things we've done so far and then give them some ideas of some of the things we're going to be moving forward to look at for the remainder of the years. And as I said, with the economy starting to turn around, things are looking much better. What are you going to tell them about though, specifically? Um, we're going to talk about uh, development. Uh, we're going to talk about um, hopefully some new companies coming into the city. Um, so some of those things are, you know, right on the front pages, but they haven't come to fruition yet. So we're, we're really looking forward to having some exciting new things to talk about. One of the other things is we've built a uh, new reservoir, which is going to be, um, it's called a Rawlings Reservoir, and it's going to be set up to help us in case we have some emergencies in our community or if we have any fires and have a, a, a large water supply that we can use immediately. Not one of the things we always think about, but water is very important. Very important. Al Murray, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so Appreciate much for having me. It. All right, thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie. Leslie Layton.